the ten men of Hibs. They took the leads. They couldn't hold on. A first half penalty from Josh Campbell gave them that half time lead. An early second half penalty from Jota cancelled it out. We had to wait till late in the game. A diving header from O put Celtic in ahead. And then Haksabanovic, another one of the substitutes, secured the points. It has been a game that Celtic have had to battle, but in the end, a good three points. Fantastic three points. And yet again, how important the guys are coming off the side of the pitch. You know, you've got O and Hacks of Banovic going on and getting goals again, and it shows you the, the quality in the squad. And we keep saying about the depth and the, the importance of the guys at the side of the pitch are to the team, never mind the guys that's on the pitch. Well, Celtic relief is always going to be difficult for Hibs with 10 men. Maybe they would have wanted to last longer in the second half, leading before they. They conceded that goal. Yeah, you can see what Hibs were trying to do. They obviously with the 10 minutes difficult. I actually got to the stage where I thought David was Marshall was trying to kick the ball out of play because he didn't want to keep the ball in play because they know from the turnover possession, Celtic were at them again. But if the ball goes out of play, they were getting a break. All of a sudden, when they get the goal, and you just thought it was just a matter of time before they scored it. But to be fair, the two boys that come off the bench again, unbelievable. The amount of impression that the substitutes have made for Celtic this season has been fantastic. And, well, may that continue because the starting 11 always look after themselves. The boys decided the side of the pitch, you're the, they're the ones that's going to come on and make something happen, and they've done that again. And once again, we see the value of the squads. Jota, who started the game, got the opener, but it was two of the substitutes who got the other two goals, O and Haksabanovic. Another good three points for Celtic. We keep going, nine points clear at the top of the table, but into the international break as we head back to the studio. It's finished here. At Celtic Park, Celtic 3, Hibernian 1. Thanks, guys. Another three points in the bag for Celtic. We made to work for that one. The full squad did the business with the substitutes coming on to grab the two winning goals. All off the bench, Haksabanovic is turning into a bit of a signature move for Haksabanovic, that cut inside in the right foot curler. Another hero this afternoon in hoops. And in the end, a convincing victory. But Simon Donnelly, these players had to had to dig that one out. Yeah, they did. They did. It was an eventful afternoon. Uh, red cards, penalty kicks, VAR decisions. And we come up with the answers again. Left it late. But that guy there with an the important second goal. And as Granty touched on up in the gantry, the subs having a real positive effect again. And another important three points. It is indeed. It's a third goal for Owen at a Celtic jersey, but a slightly different complexion to that one. You know, we had his penalty and then a, a, a goal in the in the cup with the game already done, but to score what is effectively the crucial winning goal in a game will mean so much to him. Yeah, and you could see how much it meant to him as well. A really important goal because at 1-1, Hibs were sitting in, they were making it difficult, they were defending well, a lot of front post clearances from Celtic crosses, but he worked his socks off when he came on and he showed his strength to get away from his marker who I, th I think at the time was actually fouling him. A really important header. Yeah, VAR had a, a few instances where it intervened in the game. Do you think over the piece it, it got, say it, he got most of them correct? Possibly, possibly. You know I'm not a big fan of VAR but I think the penalty decision was harsh but as we said later in the law, but I think Celtics was a penalty as well. And then I don't know if me and you disagree about the Abada one. I think he maybe get his foot stuck in the turf, but I know what you're saying about David Marshall. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt he did get his foot <clears throat> stuck in the turf, but you know, you get a penalty from a, an infringement from another player, and just yeah. because you touch the turf before the infringement comes in doesn't mean it's not a penalty yep. in my eyes. But um, obviously, these guys in the, the VAR position are far more experienced at the job than me, so what do I know? It's a multicultural Celtic team. They're all there as one doing the business. Another three points means Celtic are back to nine points clear at the top of the Cinch Premiership after 29 games. <coughs> so a 38-game season. And look at that goal difference as well. Quite incredible.